Today, a reader. Tomorrow, a leader. The Daddy Bag of Books is available at daddyandcompany.com. Welcome to My Life as a Dad. Today's guest is Carlos Alas Rocky. Can you describe for this is for a, a, a dad who's never seen his wife breast pumping before? Can you describe what it's like? First of all, try it on yourself, and you'll you'll, you'll see. Wow, there's a Dyson attached to my wife's breast. <laughs> it will uh, take. Uh, we can be uh, technical, and uh, I'll be at a little graphic. It'll take the nipple and actually extend it out and it's like a cow water. It's like it's taking the milk out of there through this tube into a little bag and you freeze it. I've drank some, it's fine. Uh, that's also part of my stand-up act about uh, us being opposed to, uh, I'll do a bit about, uh, you know London Ice Cream Parlor uses uh, human breast milk to make ice cream and everybody recoils and all that. I go, yes, that's disgusting, we're human beings. We drink milk from another species. Right. <laughs> How could we drink our own? That's gross. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty graphic process where it does extract the nipple, it's squeezing stuff out, and it's and it's this weird clockwork orange-like torture thing that your wife is going through. Uh, but they get used to it, you know. I guess you get uh, sort of calloused up, so to speak. But uh, that is uh, that is a noise that is just part of our everyday morning. Right, right. The wife's like in the mailroom. Nung, 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 yeah. nung. <laughs> oh, you got the dupe hangers going. No, she's just got the one going. She's like, she's on the laptop on Facebook. Just, <laughs> that's just part of the house. Uh, I think it's a shocker for new dads, though. The yeah. very first time you have a new dad and they see that, they're just like, whoa, oh, my goodness, what is going on? Uh, let's go, since you just have a four month old, you mm -hmm. just went through labor and delivery. Uh -huh. And what, what would be your best piece of advice for the new dad who hasn't hasn't been there yet what he should be doing I think you got to get in there. I, there there's always this advice when I before I had my babies years ago guys would say hey man you don't want to be south of the curtain you don't want to see that stuff it'll just damage you forever and I always had that in my mind uh, and I'm, you know, I'm not gonna do it and then when my first daughter came out I was just thrust into action uh, we were at Cedar Side Nine great place um, 12 o'clock midnight and uh, mother-in-law's there, and all of a sudden, the, the, the female oncologist said, grab her leg. Like, I had no choice. Grab her leg, okay. Oh, what do I do now? Just push on it. And then it started to happen, and there was no covering or anything. And I see what this formation of a head, this little, I go, oh, it's a little teeny head. I go, it's a big head. Oh my God. And I couldn't not help but looking. Right. But look, and, um, I remember my brother said he was crying when the baby came out, and I just had this uncontrollable smile on my face. It was just, so my advice is get in there and be a partner and watch it happen because it's the most amazing thing you'll ever see. So the first one, that I was a little bit, whoa, blown away, and, and then the second one, uh, the first one came out in 16 minutes after she started pushing. The second one came out in six minutes. And yeah. they literally, they had her up, ready to go, and I went, I have to go to the bathroom. Doc's like, you better hurry up, this thing's coming. And the second one, we didn't know it was a boy or a girl, so he literally took it out halfway, and he was like, oh, 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 oh what is it, boy or girl? Oh, oh. I was like, take it out. And right. It was another girl, but my recommendation is to get in there, be a part of it, and, and see it happen. Either way, if you have a C-section or if it's done naturally, it's pretty beautiful and amazing, and you might be a little scared at first, but everything takes over. Everything takes over. All your anxiety about, what will I do? Will I faint? Will I be? It's just gone. Right. It's just, it doesn't enter, enter into it. My life as a dad. Any man can be a father, but it takes someone special to be the daddy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe to our channel. We'll have new videos every Tuesday. Click here to like and click here to share with your friends. Sponsored by Daddy and Company, the perfect gifts for dad.
Get 15% off your next purchase at daddyandcompany.com using promo code MLAAD15.